Alrighty, hey everyone, sorry, I'm a little jaggedy. How are you doing? So I just prepped her nails and we are ready to go with her colors. So we're gonna use Essence and this new Perfect Match Glitter. So I just grabbed a new Essence because I was just down to the bottom. And what I wanted to let you know is if you have a bottle of Luxio and you haven't used it in a long time or it's brand new, take a spatula. This one has a little bit of glitter on it. So clean it as best you can. Take your spatula and actually put it in and give it a really good mix and then wipe it down. And you only need to do that probably the first time because um, if you use it at all and you give it a decent shake, you're not gonna need to do that. But it just helps get that pigment up from the bottom and some people that might have problems with shrinkage, things like that, um, then I always give it a really good pounding. Uh, some people that might have problems with shrinkage or something like that will find that that makes a huge difference because it just, it makes the color much more even. All right, so I'm gonna say hi to Leanne. You can say hi too. Hello. <laughs> so she loves the glitter fade. And, um, and this is a really pretty combination for fall. And I wanted to show you guys these new glitters. Hey, Delia, Christy, Christina, hello everyone. I know I've been slacking on the lives and we're about to have Thanksgiving off. So I figured I'd better get on here once or twice this week and say hi to y'all. I love this color. This essence is kind of like, I feel like it's almost like concrete, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like a, yeah. it's like an interesting neutral that's not overly brown, not overly gray. It's kind of right in the middle. Like really a, popular like all. a gray taupe. Yes, like a gray taupe. It's really popular all. I do a ton of it in the fall. There, so you can read all this stuff. All right, so I cleaned my brush off. I have my little wipe here. Clean your brush off. And you can use this kind of a brush to do it, or if you wanna make things a little easier on yourself, you can use an ombre brush, which I should have one around here. I try all different kinds. I don't have my favorite one. But I have this one, which is not my favorite, but it's from Magnetic. Um, and it'll work, but if any ombre brush and you can do your fades this way, it's a little bit easier. So just pull and drag up and then I just wipe off on my wipe, pull and drag up. And the whole goal of this is just to blur your line. You just don't want straight lines under your glitter because they'll be noticeable. So there's a question about shaking polish. Yes. Do you have any recommendations for polish shakers? So I have a polish shaker right next to me, in fact, that collects a lot of dust, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's really nice because I can put a bottle in there upside down, and sometimes I will put a bottle in upside down and let it sit there um, while I'm prepping and doing um, the Trinity layer and things like that. So this has already been prepped and has the layer of Trinity. Don't wipe the tacky off. Leave the tacky on. Um, I don't find that it really shakes the gel quite enough. It doesn't do as good a job as me pounding it in my hand. And the reason I know that is because like if you take the hardest uh, gel polish in the Luxio line to mix is certainly Polar, which is our super, super, super bright white. And if you get a brand new Polar, you will see that it's almost blue when you open it because it needs mixed really, really well. Um, and in order to do that, it helps to stir it like I just showed you and then um, give it a good pounding. And so when I first got a puller, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna stick it in the shaker and let it do the shaker. And I ran it like probably four times and I opened it and it barely had changed the kind of blue um, situation that, that puller has when it's brand new. So I like it because it's easy to stick a polish upside down and maybe you can give it a little bit of a shake, but I find it doesn't do a good enough job. Now, I can't testify as to if it does a great job for lacquer because I don't do regular polish. I haven't done regular polish in like 10 years, um, which is sad because I just started carrying Perfect Match for all of you who do regular polish. Um, Perfect Match is the LeChat's um, gel polish and lacquer sets. And so you basically buy the gel polish and you get the lacquer for free. Um, 
which is awesome for those who do lacquer, but for the rest of us, I have to gift my lacquer. So this one I've been doing this week, um, which is, I've done it quite a few times. It's this beautiful rose gold holographic um, color. Now these definitely smell way more than Luxio. I'm so used to having Luxio that has zero smell, but all of these have more solvents in it because they're meant to soak off faster, like your... Um, uh -huh, like your CND would, but it comes with the lacquer as well. So I'll be gifting these occasionally to people um, just because I don't do lacquer and it's what I have to do. But they also sent this, which is fantastic. Um, Lisa has a question. Yes. Do you sell that ombre brush? I don't sell this one. Um, I actually don't like this one as much as the other ones I sell. I do sell quite a few different ones. Um, I have the Profiles Ombre Brush. Actually, I think I just got a new one in swag, you guys. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's a different brush. Um, but uh, the Profiles one I have, and the most beautiful one is the Ugly Duckling Ombre Brush. It's got a crystal uh, handle. So I do sell those two. I don't sell this magnetic one. I think I picked this one up in a show. It's a bit wider. Um, so it's a little bit different, but the other ones are extremely similar. So I do have at least two different ombre brushes on my website, just not this one. I just need to bring one of the other ones. I think I probably took the other ones to a class or to camp, and then I ended up giving it to somebody, and so it's no longer in my drawer. That happens. What else is everyone saying, Leanne? You get to be the reader. Um, a lot of nice things. Oh, that's nice. nice. Compliments. Who, oh. who doesn't love a glitter fade? That's so I true. Don't, I don't know. It's my favorite. Always love you, ladies. What's so nice about glitter fades is that because it goes straight over a clear base, as it grows out, you don't see the grow out. Like, look at mine. I've actually done a clear fade in between on mine as well since I did it. So it just, it doesn't look like they aren't supposed, to, it doesn't look grown out. It always looks cooler as it grows out, so. It's fresh. Yeah, I always do it on myself. And you can, you know, if you have a client who grow out really bothers them, sell them just a regular polished top coat. And in between, when they feel like they see the grow out too much, because the only difference between their grow out and their natural nail is the shininess of the gel. So if they put a just clear polished top coat on, they can blend that new growth to their gel and it doesn't look like they're grown out anymore. So that only works if you're doing a clear fade like this, but for someone who after a couple of weeks, uh, the grow out bothers them, it's a really nice trick. Okay, more questions. Um, this is from Tanya Lynn. What's your thoughts on the new LEP Plus gel polish? Do you know if it's compatible to Luxio as far as solvents go? Um, the P Plus, yeah, the Light Elegance. Um, I'm sure it's going to be fine as far as layering it. Um, I don't have any problems with layering other products on top of um, accents. It, it plays fairly. Um, I'm going to know more about it soon. I'm actually taking all the LE classes so I can be mm, smarter and know all of the ins and outs and spend some time chatting with people. She says um, comparable. People. Compatible, comparable. Comparable. Um, no, it's compatible to Luxio. It's, the, prob the difference is probably going to be um, when you take something that doesn't have solvent like Luxio compared to something that does have solvent like these, um, there's a smell difference and there is a soak off time difference. These are going to soak off a lot faster. These tend to hold up a little bit better. So when we do them on the nails, and I'm interested to see how my clients come back with this, but the thing is, is I'm actually taking these and top coating with these. So I'm layering them however I see fit. And because Luxio gloss is so great. I think they're going to hold up perfectly fine. So those clients go a month and so I'll be able to really see the difference. All right. So these are part of this fantastic glitter set. And I'll tell you right now, I only have nine more of these sets right now. Um, they're huge pots. Look how big this pot is compared to some of my other glitter pots that um, I have. Okay. It's a lot of glitter. 
Um, and you want to stir them just like you would any glitter gel. There's a little bit that settles, but not a lot. The first time I used it, I actually forgot to stir and it was maybe slightly more runny, um, but they're pretty, pop goes the weasel. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty good as far as condensation, but these are the Stardust, hello, this is a huge box. This is the Stardust collection. Um, and I have this listed on my website right now. It's actually on the front page, but it is nine of these large pots. And I even swatched them. I'm totally getting off track. <laughs> but look at how yummy these are. Like, I, I wanted to do this one on my toes, but my daughter convinced me. She's like, do a Christmas one. So this one looks kind of Christmassy. It's got some red and green and gold. So I layered this on top of green. So these are just one kind of thickish coat by itself. But if you apply it thin, you can do it layered over a color and give it a completely different effect. So right now I'm doing this one, Cosmic Flash, which is kind of like a rosy, warm, gold-ish thing. So make sure you're using your glitter brush. So this is my brush that has, you can see has glitter on it. So you always wanna make sure you're using one that has glitter in it because otherwise you use your nice brush that you use for fills and then you can't get a nice smooth fill anymore, so. Joanne says, you just made Tuesday way better. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, that's so sweet. See, it's comments like that that make, <laughs> get me back on the camera. And then Delia says, getting off track when talking about glitter is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's really easy to do because, I mean, come on. How yummy is that? What I really like about these is most of them, this one seems to be like an ultra fine and a micro fine. They're all different. So the gold one that I was showing that I wanted to put on my toes and then my daughter convinced me to do the other one. The gold one actually has like mini shreds in it and they lay down really nice. And if you've ever tried to apply like mini shreds glitters, sometimes they stick up when you're trying to press it into like clear gel and it's a pain. So to be able to use that and like not have that problem is really nice. So it's got kind of all different shapes and sizes depending on the one that you're grabbing. So... They're awesome. So I, like I said, I only have 10 right now. I'll get more, but I'm sure they're not going to be here until mm, for a couple of weeks. So I would not wait for the Black Friday sale on that one, but I will have lots of stuff on sale for Black Friday. But if you want a set, it's not one to wait for. There's not enough of them. And they're so worth it because <laughs> they're mm -hmm. awesome. There's so much of it. I don't even know if I'm ever going to use all this glitter. I mean, it's a lot of glitter. But we can try. For I'll sure. Help you. <laughs> You'll help. Yeah, I'll help you. So easy, easy fade. You're just dragging it down. My goal when I do a fade is to try to make it disappear. Um, as far as, like, don't have a straight line of glitter. If it looks like you have a straight line of glitter when you move the nail around, you need to keep pushing your glitter around. So... And I tend to use the whole front of my brush, um, not just the tip sometimes, and it kind of presses the glitter and moves it around. It's a little bit runny. Isn't that delicious? Go ahead and put that in, please. So again, just dabbing, dab. Don't spend a lot of time doing this kind of thing. You don't need to. It's, it's very quick and easy just to get on there. And then get to the thumb, wipe the excess off my brush, blend it up a little bit. Pull down. Okay. And these are really nice because they are mixed pretty perfectly in the sense that after I do the fade, the glitter kind of all lays down really well and you don't end up with a bumpy finish, which makes it really easy when it comes to gloss. There's the sound of my next one. It 
it was quite a project to get to where I could come on and do lives again because I had too many pictures on my phone. And let me tell you, it um, going live, if you don't have enough space for the videos on your phone, your phone won't actually let you go live. How nice is that? It's really rude. So I went and like took off, I think like 11,000 pictures or something, but then it wouldn't let me permanently delete the 11,000 pictures. So then I had to do it like in batches of like 500 pictures at a time. It was really annoying. And then I was like, oh, I still haven't edited and posted my pictures of Dubrovnik from September. So I really need to get on the ball and do that because otherwise it's going to be a long, long way. Travel wait. picture challenges. I know. It's true. <laughs> I try to get them all posted on there and off my phone because here's the thing. If I delete those pictures off my phone before I get them journaled on my, in my album, you'll never see them again. Good and that will be sad. And Dubrovnik was pretty cool. If, did you watch Game of Thrones? No. Oh. <laughs> well, there's a scene in Game of Thrones where this chick gets, has to walk down the street basically naked and they all say shame and yell shame at her. So for those who have watched this. So that staircase is in Dubrovnik and normally it's so incredibly crowded there that um, you can't really do this but Jared got to walk down and our tour guide that we had we had a little private tour guide was ringing the bell and I was yelling shame and stuff so it's a hilarious oh, no, little funny. video. Yeah. So I'm just going to flash cure this because I don't want her pinky to run. Because remember, did you see how she kind of naturally holds her pinky up in the air? Most clients do that, <laughs> which is fine and great and all, except for that it can make your top coat run into the cuticle. And I'm a big anti-top coat running into the cuticle person. So flashing um, it. Teresa says, sorry, she just got on. And what glitter are you using? I am using this new Cosmic Flash from this collection that I just... Um, showed it's a new line i started carrying some la chat really because um la chat has the best mood polishes and i wanted to carry a lacquer line for people because um some people are still using regular polish quite a lot in the salon and let me tell you it was not easy to get opi because they send you to this person and that person and this person and they send me all over the corporate world of opi and i still can't get a hold of the right people to actually carry opi so so sorry Apparently, for now, we are still not going to have OPI. And I know a lot of people like Dazzle Dry, but Dazzle Dry doesn't do distributors. So I wanted to be able to have a lacquer that was available for people. And what I like about Le Chat is that they have their perfect match sets. So you can buy the gel polish, which everyone is always happy with new colors of gel polish. Um, but you get the lacquer for free. And I thought, well, that's a deal. So... That is why I started carrying Le Chat, and because they have the best mood polishes on the market. And who doesn't love a good mood polish? I do. But you know what's even funnier? And I haven't gotten to use them yet. This one, this is Mood Cafe. You wanna see, watch the screen, this one's my favorite. So I have a heater here. Oh, it's kinda of turned on though. But this Mood Cafe one actually smells like coffee. But look at the green, isn't that a fun one? And that it's mauve really is really cool. pretty. Yeah, it's really cool. So they have really, really nice mood polish and gel polish. So they have both versions. So if you only use regular polish, then you can definitely just do mood regular polish. But they have mood gel polish, which that's the way I roll. So it's pretty exciting. See, this one ran because I got all talky <laughs> about, about the other stuff. So before it goes in the light, flash that for me, please. What happens when I get talky and chatty and excited about new stuff? Because we all love new products. So, yeah, my new products section on my website right now has, like, 300 new items. So my apologies with that if you're looking for new stuff. We do have some new stamping plates, um, which is super fun for Christmas. I'm very excited for some of those. They're darling. I posted one of them on my Instagram. You love Game of Thrones. So when I do post my pictures of Dubrovnik, you should look because we did a Game of Thrones walking tour and there's a lot of pictures of like buildings and areas and I took a picture of the scene and then a picture of the real place. And it's really, it's kind of interesting to see how they change stuff with CGI because so many of the buildings are like way bigger or things like that. And so it was really fun. 
All right, guys, now you just do your finish work, which all I do at the end is give it a good wipe, and then always come to the sides, file from underneath, side, side, front, side, side, front, side, 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 front, whichever way you wanna do it. But I soften the edges just a little bit so she doesn't feel like she's gonna kill anybody. There are some that like them super, super sharp, but I just soften them just, Bankers. yes, but I just soften them just a smidge. And then you want to make sure you take your e-file. I'm going to switch from my prep bit. Oh, I forgot to put my little lid back on my, that would be disaster later. I mean, it's okay if you never ever tilt it, <laughs> but if you tilt it, it's gonna get all in your lid and then that's just all kinds of mess. All right, I'm gonna switch back to my regular sanding band that I used off her. It looks kind of gunky because she had some foil on. Um, if you're using foil with your quick stick it, sometimes I will find that I will actually switch sanding bands after each hand because it will get gunked up with the quick stick it, so. This is not anything you're doing wrong, it's just the nature of the product. All right, well, I'll just oil you and then show people this and then I can let them go. And this is the Cuccio oil. I love that it's in a dropper and it's cranberry, which right now is delicious. People are loving it because it smells like Christmas. It's seasonal. It's, yeah. So if you need a new oil, they're really good, well-priced for as large of a jar as you get. You get a huge jar of it for I want to say less than 10 bucks, but it's big. So get yourself some cranberry oil. All right, there we go. Essence and um, this new glitter flash from the Perfect Match set. So thanks for joining us, guys. We will talk to you later, and I'll probably try to get on one more time before Thanksgiving. So I won't wish you happy Thanksgiving yet, but happy <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye.